It's the second to last weekend before Election Day, and the presidential candidates are spending uh, all their time trying to get votes in Michigan. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavides explains why that state is so crucial. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris returned to Michigan to fight for the state's 15 pivotal electoral votes. I'm here today with a message of hope for all Americans with your vote in this election. We will end inflation. And you know what? It's we, not me. We will stop the invasion of criminals into our country. And I will bring back the American dream for your children and for yourself. It is a people-powered campaign. We will win because we know what we stand for, so we know what to fight for. In Kalamazoo Saturday, the Democratic presidential nominee is campaigning for the first time with former First Lady Michelle Obama. In this amazing woman, our Vice President of the United States, the next President of the United States, Harris and Trump are trying to woo Michigan's more than 8 million registered voters, including a large Arab American and Muslim population, keeping a close eye on Israel's war against Hamas. The former president was set to later appear in State College, Pennsylvania, as the candidates shuttle back and forth between battleground states. On Sunday, Trump returns to his hometown, New York, to hold a rally at Madison Square Garden. Christian Benavides, CBS News. Pennsylvania is another state considered essential to reach the 270 electoral votes needed to win. In 2020, both Pennsylvania and Michigan flipped blue, leading to a Biden victory.